you guys um, the update on my AliExpress hair that had lice and nets in it. I've gotten quite a lot of questions from you guys on those videos and you guys want to know what's up, what's going on, what's up with the hair, how did you get rid of the lights, yada yada yada, okay? So that's what this video is about. First and foremost, this is the hair. I did keep the hair. Um, the hair is lovely. I would not recommend buying from that company. I'll repeat, I would not recommend buying from that company. Buy at your own risk, okay? It is your choice. I had a horrible experience with the company. If you guys have not seen that video, please check somewhere in this video and I will put a link to those videos, um, my experience with the company. Now, like I said, this is the hair um, and it is doing well. Um, I've been wearing this hair on and off for a couple of months. As you guys see, I dyed it. Here is the color of the hair. It came out beautiful. The color came out beautiful. Um, I had a little technique I used. I did like an ombre. I was going for like a Beyonce-esque hair look. Um, something with darker roots and um, highlights. And it's basically a three-dimensional color that I tried to achieve. And I think I did pretty darn good. Yes, I think I did good. I will also be posting a video on how I got that color soon. Um, but yeah, so let's get into it. I don't even remember the name of the company. I think it's called a Perfect Hair Store, but they have changed their name since. Um, last time I spoke with you guys, they were supposed to be sending me a bundle of hair, and they did. Um, this is the hair that they sent. I haven't used it yet. They sent me another 18 inch because my 18 inch was badly infested. Okay? It was not living lights, but it was just nets, this little nest. And here is the hair. The hair is pretty. It is really nice. It is light, snets free. What I ask for, really nice. Um, I do love the Brazilian hair. I love Brazilian hair, period, because it has some coarseness to it, and it makes it easy to blend with relaxed and even pressed hair. So here is the hair. Very nice. I love it. Okay, haven't used it, but so far I do enjoy this hair. It just was hell to get to this customer service. So how I got rid of my lice nets were, I first I boiled the hair. I boiled the hair and it just was filthy dirty, okay? You should always, first and foremost, wash your hair when it comes to you guys in the mail. Please wash your hair when it comes to you guys in the mail. It is filthy. I boiled the hair and then I shampooed the hair with my tea tree um, by Paul Mitchell. I would um, insert a picture of that or either, matter of fact, just a moment. So I'm back and I went and got the products that I used to kind of help me get some of the lice nets out. I did wash the hair with my Palm, my Palm Mitchell Tea Tree Shampoo. This is amazing. Um, I just did that because I just wanted to use this shampoo. And it makes it sm the hair smell really good. This is after I boiled it. And I seen a video on YouTube of a woman getting lights out of her daughter's hair and the nits out of her daughter's hair and she used a really good moisturizing conditioner which loosened up the nits and she used a really fine tooth comb. I went the extra mile and I purchased a flea comb because that's extremely fine. It gets fleas off of dog's hair. So I went to the, my pet store, my local pet store and purchased a flea comb and I just saturated and saturated the hair with this conditioner, um, the Proclaim conditioner. Castrol conditioner um, butter and I just let it sit on the hair like overnight the next day I got up and I just combed through the hair and it just slid out slid out and slid out and I, re I did that process maybe two times um, the first time I let it sit overnight the second time I let it sit about five hours and then that evening I just did the same thing and everything was out and then I washed it the hair was extremely conditioned and washed it and deconditioned it again and there it was. And just to make sure that everything was gone and dead, I went ahead and bleached, the, um, dyed the hair. To get this look, I used 40 volume developer and some color. I will, like I said, I will be putting another video up on how I got this hair, um, this color to this hair. This is my natural leave out. I made this on a stretch dome cap. Yeah, I believe a stretch dome cap. And I insert combs into it, wig clips 
in the top and on the sides and that's how it's on um, I just actually put this on to show you guys you know how the hair looks I am in love with the color the color is magnificent it came out beautiful okay beautiful beautiful I have some little highlights and I have the bottom a lot darker I love 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 this color it came out gorgeous 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 and so I did kind of like an ombre um, look but I went through and I did three different tones of ombre. The bottom is the darkest with a few highlights. The middle is um, a little darker. The, the top is the lightest. And then I just did some highlights all the way through and put a majority of my highlights in the in the front and also some in the back. It should be a really nice highlight here. It's just really pretty, especially looks really nice in the sun. I absolutely love this color on me. So this is what's going on with the actual AliExpress Lysnets hair. It actually turned out better. I would not recommend buying from the company. It is tons of companies, companies that you can buy from that you would not have to go through what I went through um, just to get some good customer service. So on that note, also, yeah, I did seal my webs on this hair. I don't get a lot of shedding, but I did seal my webs on this hair. And what I use to seal my webs are a lean, flexible, stretchable fabric glue. Okay, this stuff is really good. Um, it goes on kind of with a light bluish tint, but when it dries, I bought a little piece here. It dries and it has like this little, you know, I guess like a little gummy stuff, but it has a little shine to it. I don't like that, but hey, you really can't see it. And I, di I didn't seal both sides of this here, but throughout the, most of the hair, I sealed both sides. So I just didn't want to deal with the, the fuss of um, shedding hair and I really don't I love the hair I must say that um, I do get a little bit of uh, it is kind of dr not dry dry but it can get dry I notice when you use lighter hair whether you're buying it in a store already lightened or you lighten it yourself when you to tend to use some hot tools as far as um, flat irons and curling irons even though you use heat protecting spray it tends to dry out the hair a little bit a little bit more excuse me and I really prefer to maybe just use flexi rods and stuff on the hair this hair this style I got here with some um, acrylic iron and then I set it with flexi rods but flexi rods I think it do the deal um, because it's less heat on the hair especially when it's colored it, for some reason it just likes to kind of get a little bit more dry when you put the heat on to it the same as your natural hair would if it was um, color treated so if you guys have any questions that I did not answer, please feel free to leave them down below. I hope I answered all you guys' questions. Um, and I will be back with more videos. Like I say, stay blessed, stay beautiful, but always stay you. Ciao.